one of the most common cheek killer disease is a disease that is called pulorum also known as the basilary hoit diarrhea this name basilary hoit diarrhea comes from the fact that when your cheeks are affected by this infection you will see a hoitish diarrhea that have attached on the feathers that surround the vent area in this video i want to give you the three natural treatments to save your cheeks from this hoit diarrhea disease of the cheeks i will also tell you how to know if your cheeks are suffering from this infection and how to prevent it from attacking your cheeks again in the farm but before we get into this video kindly if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notification so that every time that i post another educative video youtube will alert you also make sure to hit that like button and also the share button because they help this video to be shown to more farmers so that they can be able to get this important information you can also tell us where you are watching us from and leave your suggestion and questions in the comment section below the pleurum disease or the cheek basilary hoit diarrhea is caused by a lethal resistant bacteria called salmonella pleurum this bacteria is highly resistant to many antibiotics which has made many of us animal scientists to search for other solutions from organic treatments this bacteria can be transmitted from one cheek to another or from the mother chicken to cheeks either through the eggs or contamination of eggs in the hatchery and this is because this bacteria called salmonella pleurum has the ability to be penetrate the reproductive system of a mother chicken and get into the eggs therefore when this egg is hatching into the cheek the cheek will already have contracted this bacteria now how can you know that your cheeks are suffering from this infection and the most effective way is by observing the following signs and symptoms that affected cheeks usually show and the first one is that you're going to see a wet vent with a chalky white droppings that are attached to the hairs or the feathers around the vent number 2 you are going to see weaknesses in your cheeks your cheeks are going to refuse to eat the feeds uh, they are going to have poor growth rate uh, they are also going to be weak they are also not going to be able to stand up properly they say that prevention is better than cure and for that matter let me first discuss the two of the best ways to prevent this disease from affecting your chickens and the most effective ways is number one by buying chicks from a reputable hatchery and we have seen that one of the ways into which a transmission of this resistant bacteria is transmitted to the chicks is by contamination of eggs in the hatchery therefore make sure that the place where you are buying your chicks or the hatchery where you are buying your chicks uh, they conduct good safety precautions the second thing is that you are going to cull the carriers and the carriers are chickens that usually have the disease but they do not show the symptoms welcome into the world of organic treatment and let us discuss the best three natural treatments to treat this basilary hoit diarrhea that affect your cheeks and the first organic treatment is the oregano essential oil the oregano essential oil is an oil that is extract, extracted from the oregano plant and the oregano essential oil has been found to contain compounds that are able to kill this, this bacteria that causes this devastating disease in a research which was done to find out the effect of the oregano essential oil on chicks that were injected with uh, this bacteria called salmonella program it was found out that the chicks that were fed on the oregano essential oil in their drinking water they did not develop any signs of the basilary hoit diarrhea even after injection with the bacteria that causes this disease and this is because the calvacrol and dimor 
and Daimo, which are compounds found in the oregano essential oil. They are capable of killing these bacteria in chicks' gut before it even causes this disease. The dosage that you are going to add into the chicks drinking water so that you can be able to fight off this infection is 0.5 ml of the oregano essential oil into each liter of the chicks drinking water. Another thing that the experiment, the experiment um, found out is that adding the oregano essential oil in chicks drinking water even before this disease affects the chicks you're, uh, you're going to help to prevent this disease from affecting your chicks. The second organic treatment is the thyme powder. The thyme powder has a compound called thymol and this thymol which is also found in the oregano essential oil is very effective against Salmonera pulorum. It has been found out that adding one teaspoon of the thyme powder per liter of the chickens drinking water is a good cure to eliminate this bacillary white dis uh, diarrhea disease from the affected chicks. The third important organic treatment is the turmeric powder. The turmeric powder, when added into the chicks' feeds, it helps to treat this bacillary white diarrhea disease. Uh, the turmeric powder contains an essential compound called curcumin, which is able to kill the bacteria and relieve your chicks, your chicks from this infection. The amount of this turmeric powder to add in the chick feed is one gram of this turmeric powder into each kg of the chicks feed. As you prepare these organic treatments so that you can be able to treat this pulorum disease or the whitish diarrhea disease in your cheeks, I suggest also that you hit the video on your screen right now to know about the organic treatments to treat fall typhoid in your chickens.